Welcome back, fellow adventurers, to part six of Ned's Adventures in the Stygian Abyss. All right, so we left Ned here with uh, the company of uh, King Vernix and his uh, friend here named Lenugo. And also, as I mentioned, there's this cool mandolin here, which doesn't seem to be belonging to anybody. So we'll just pick it up. Ah. I didn't mind, and check this out, unless I'm mistaken, we can jam it out. Ah, ah, check it out, Ned's talent there, shredding on the guitar. Alright, for another episode I'll tr actually try to... Learn a little melody there, a little melody, and have a real jam there. But for now, let's chit chat with Mr. Vernix. I'm guessing at least he'll have useful information compared to all the no names. Hey, Vernix, how's it going? Yes. Greetings, Goblin Lord. Clearly, thou art a boar. Unfit for the gentle company present here. Away with thee until thou hast learned to ape the manners of thy betters. Whoa, I thought that was good. I beg thy pardon, your majesty. I had not expected to meet such nobility here. Well, perhaps thou canst be forgiven. This place is full of the most frightful rude people. Thou mayest remain. Why is thy deed? Ah, oops, what is thy deed, sorry? Alright, I'm merely, merely to partake in some small manner of thy vast knowledge. True, I am rather wise. Come to think of it, what does thou wish to know? Yeah, hmm. What are these talismans of which I hear? Uh, oh, <laughs> he has a gorgeous cloak, alright. Oh my god, that's quite the story. It does suit me, doesn't it? I had it made especially for me. One simply doesn't find work like this on the ground. Well, perhaps the mountain folk. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go see these mountain folk. I'm sure they're gonna have some cool gear. Uh, do make a few nice things, but they tend towards metal rather than clothes. Alright, so we're gonna get an axe, I'm sure. And of course the seers, the ancient illuminated seers. Of the Moonstone, they call themselves to do nice work. Ah, come on, let's go. All right. Okay, so who's Sir Kabiris? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I think Kabiris is a friend of the humans, but the goblins don't like him. All right, let's ask him about the talismans. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I, I didn't... I was getting him angry there. I guess some talismans and cabiris are bad subjects of conversation with him. Let's see Lenugo here. That be no bother in the boss, eh? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> It'd be not healthy to bother a guy like the boss. Oh, they like the Mafia or something. Uh. Oops, maybe I should have talked to him before. Well, I already had a chat with him, apparently in... Oh, what, what, what? Oh, yeah, there you go. That worm stew thing. He's giving me the recipe. It's nice. All right, where is that recipe? Aye, your mother used <laughs> to make it. <laughs> oh, me mother, <laughs> his mom. That makes, that takes a rot worm, chops it up fine, and marinates it in a port with mushrooms. Here. All right, you wrote me down the recipe. Thanks, man. I'll be sure to have a taste of this delicacy. Okay. So, no torch, no boots. Alright. 
At least we got a recipe and not much else. Oops. Damn, I wish uh, Vernix could have traded with us or something, but no. Not much useful information then. Crap. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Threw the recipe on the ground. Bad move. How much candle is there left? Somewhat used. We're not so badly off then. Let's keep exploring. Hope we can find a torch. Or if I could be an asshole, I could just kill all the goblins and irregular stone. Yeah. There wasn't a secret door. Ah, oh, I'm gonna be back in danger here. Got a bad feeling. And that damn music doesn't help keeping me calm. Ah, oh. Particulus. Oh! Ah, oh, damn, another goblin. Well, so much for saying that the gray goblins are mean. At this point, I just got attacked by two green goblins. Green. That's a new word. It's green and goblin. I'm kidding. Alright, let's go. Let's try it. Ah, damn, I'm hitting the walls, which is bad. Oh my god, this is bad. Two of them. Here. Nah! One of them down. Let's go. Oh! We leveled up! Hurrah! Oh, and I'm seeing a steel buckler there in the corner. This will be good. And maybe one of these guys has a torch, which would be amazing. Ah! Come on! Oh, torch! Torch on the ground. Gee, this guy is uh, pretty hard. There we go. Oh my god. We're, we're punching him? Alright, let's run away. Regroup. Alright. Where's that dagger? There we go. Let's go back and finish this guy off. Oh, oh, yeah! Woo! That was good. That was good. Oh, rubies, torch, jackpot. More than one torch? This is good. Three torches. Somewhat used, which is, I think, just barely used. Like you turn them on and boom, they become somewhat used. Nice, this is good. A good steel buckler. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And what is this? Badly worn leather vest? And who cares? But, as uh, we all know, Ned the Tinker will be able to fix these items. Although, I think we need to find an anvil and also a, uh, a, a hammer. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy with the hammer part. Alright. Gold, rubies, items to barter. This was quite the... F quite the find. Come on. Pick it up. Alright. So... At least we got a torch. No boots. No boots. More chicken. More nightmares. <laughs> Oh, I thought there was unlimited space in containers, but apparently not. Oh well. Alright. So, this will conclude part 6 of Ned's Adventures in the Stygian Abyss. Thank you for watching. Vote if you can. Subscribe if you want. See you soon.